Annabelle, the city says it plans to build some 280 new bus shelters beginning next year, which many say is badly needed. But it does have an ongoing problem with existing bus shelters that have been taken over by the homeless. It's become a familiar sight at some bus shelters in Los Angeles, shelters that have become living spaces for the homeless. You can't sit down to catch the bus. Thaddeus Wilson told us the bus shelter at El Segundo Boulevard and San Pedro Street in Willowbrook has been a homeless encampment for at least a year. Sometimes you can't do what you like to do, you know, in, in, in the neighborhood because they're there and you got to got to go around them when you're driving sometimes. It's just, it's, it's, it's really bad, really. It's really bad for the community. It's still so many more people that need to be housed. Christina Ash told us she's thankful her daughter recently found housing after being homeless. She says she regularly drives by the shelter in Willowbrook and says people in the area have no choice but to adapt. People who want to take the bus there, they just stand around the, the uh, homeless person until the bus comes. Are you worried about safety or anything like that? For them? that more for you. I don't feel threatened if that's what you're saying. So even the, the people who need to ride the bus, they, they would probably not go to that stop if they felt threatened. Earlier this year, the LA City Council approved $30 million in bus shelter replacements and additions with the goal of installing 3,000 new shelters in the next five years. LA Metro says it's developing a plan to address the hundreds of homeless who use metro trains and buses as shelter. LA Metro says the bus shelters are the jurisdiction of the city and the county. We are awaiting comment from LA Mayor Karen Bass's office. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Ted Chen, NBC4 News, Carolyn Annabelle, back to you.